All right, folks, we're back. I'm online now, and we have for you the quest for iRogue. Uh -huh. People are on people on the, uh, the the Twitch chat are afraid where we might be ordering pizza from. They're like, oh no, I hope one of them will do chains. That's a it's, it'll be ordering from a local place, so you know it's a a very local place. Um, uh, toppings pizza, actually. And are um, sponsoring you? I'm sorry, what? Are they sponsoring you too? No, no, sadly not. Well, they're kind of. <laughs> we'll be paying for the pizza. Let's see if we're like. So, would you be up to giving this pizza for a charity marathon? <laughs> like, um, no, that'll be fifteen dollars. Yeah. Uh, so, folks on stream, we have um, Alyssa and Peter from um, Crystal Shard Games here with us. Makers of uh, Heroines Quest, and they're going to be showing us one of their new upcoming games, which is not yet released. But you know, we have a preview build here, which uh, you know should be a lot of fun. And uh, we, as we all know, George actually was on the the, uh, the stream chat earlier. He also did a voice in this one, so you know, I think he's. Uh, I'm sure if he's still in chat right now, but he was earlier. So yeah, hopefully he'll uh, you know <laughs> he'll be around. So. Um, I would just like to take this opportunity to say that um, I actually have a friend who is uh, very excited. Uh, he absolutely loved Heroine's Quest, so um, just want to give a shout out there. So, ah. Another quick thing I forgot to do here. Always happy to hear that. I must say this one is much shorter though. Heroine's Quest is really the, the big, extremely epic long game. So. Oh, yeah. That's all good. Um, I'm also trying to see... Are you folks hearing any volume on the stream? Oh, yeah, there's George. George is still here. Um, what are we people on the stream? Are you hearing? There should be music. I'm not here. hearing any music. Hmm. Hold on. There's definitely volume. Uh, you get noise when you click like new uh, restore game, for example. Yep. Yeah, I heard noise there. Um, so sound is on, music is off? Is there a settings thing I can go into from the main uh, menu? No, or... there's a settings thing over here. Let me uh, actually bounce this no, out there's here. there's a set, little setup tool. Yeah, there's a setup tool which... Oh! But... Uh, did I click the wrong thing? I might have. Hold on, hold on. Being stupid. Um, make sure I've got... Sure, this is all set. Sure, this is not the full window. Why is it open the full window? Like, there's no confirmation button here. I evolved from now. I don't know if you saw, I probably didn't see the stream earlier. I know Alyssa just, just woke up, like, so we were just having some, all kinds of monitor problems and interesting fun that, uh, yeah, I guess it happens, so. Uh, it should be, should be squared away here, I'm not sure. Oh, I'm getting sound on Twitch now. Okay, you are hearing it now? Well, I can hear your voice on okay. Twitch. I hear the voice, but um, I can open. There we go. Okay, there we go. Yep. All right. Weird. Yeah. Alrighty. Actually, unless that was just the. Oh, maybe it's just because. Or is there not music in the? Uh, like, click, click new game. Let's see if there's. Master. There's title music, yes. Yeah, okay, here we go, all right. You were slow to respond, him. Have you been licking rocks again? Yes, Master. Sorry, Master. Now listen, I have a task for you. My ritual nears its completion. After all these years? That is wonderful, Master. Yes. I shall have the world within my grasp. He will everywhere shall tremble 
and kneel before I rode the Necromancer. Huh? However, what is it, Master? I have foreseen that three heroes venture to stop me. As we speak, a Hello. fierce warrior, a cunning hey, rogue, and a powerful sorceress approach my cave. How dreadful is this, Master? It shall be your task to defeat them. With great pleasure. I shall burn and skewer them, crush them with rocks, and cast them into your bottomless pit. See to it that you do. Get to work, you lazy imp. Yes, master. Okay. All right, so let me, let me just make sure one thing. Hold on. Apologies, just need to do the thing back here. Okay, so Peter and Alyssa, can you hear us? I'm sorry? You can hear us okay? Yes. Okay, good, good. So yeah, just starting in the game here. And uh, as everyone's just seen, we've uh, got a uh, necromancer imp um, thing going on here. So, yeah. Just uh, explore around, see what you can find. If you actually want to, now I think about it, talk to the brain in the upper right hand corner real quick, he will help you figure some things out. <laughs> He's cute! <laughs> Talking jar brain. What is it, Imp? Don't I know you from somewhere? Certainly not. You may have been a distant <coughs> family member, but he's so good. Mm, I got about a 30 second delay on Twitch. It's gotta be funny. Yeah, there is a, a delay on the stream. I shared the screen with you in Skype, so you should be able to see it there at least. Can you uh, it doesn't nope, matter. That's a moment. You look so weird. So you will never know that heroes follow the red runes on the wall unless distracted. But they don't even know where Irold's chamber is. And I'm not telling you either that you should ask the other denizens what no, kind of thing is No, I've got it on my computer. Well, you have it on yours? Yeah. Maybe that makes a difference. Yeah. Evil, I tell you. Wait, you what? Sorry? I'm Skyping over an iPad, maybe that makes a difference. Oh, yeah, I don't know, maybe iPads can't do screen sharing. Oh. Well, she's talking to the uh, uh, the brain in the jar right now. And... Can you give me a hint? Yeah. Yes, I could, but I'm not going you to You can see that. a duplicate brain I... there, that's uh, one of the little bugs we're still working so out. Just... That's oh, why this is a beta version, I obviously. So... Mm -hmm. <laughs> is he going to be something different in the final, or that's, that's him? Uh... The, the brain is him. Just him it twice. Uh -huh. it's I'm not going to tell you. Oh, I see. Yeah, you see it twice. Yeah, I know what you're saying. Yeah. So I think everything is functional and playable. There's just a few a bits of polishing to be done. Yeah, I was able to kill the three adventurers. You're actually able to kill all three. Okay. Yep. Oh wow. All right. Except it didn't trigger the end sequence. <laughs> Oh. We can get you there if you wreck it out. Does this game? Maybe, but I'm not. <laughs> Solve my game. I will keep track of everything. So... Yeah, I have to click on the skull. <laughs> <laughs> We're just talking about the skull from Last Unicorn earlier today. The Last Unicorn? We're, yeah, the, we're talking about the skull from The Last Unicorn earlier today. I don't think I've played that. Oh, no, it's a, it's a movie, but yeah, Keep no. your thieving claws up. And here's George. Come closer, tasty little imp. Master says you can't- Do not flatter yourself, tiny one. I was eating whatever I pleased since you were still a... Uh, 
or whatever it is that imps are born as. Imps aren't born. We are created in a process too horrible to His even contemplate. Dragon. And yet, it is <laughs> very that's <laughs> Yeah, that's very, very interesting. Fire. Remember that. Wait, what about the dragon? George is the dragon. Oh, George is the dragon. Oh, yeah, George is the dragon, yes. I'm going to kill three trespassers. So, little imp, you think yourself a mighty slayer of adventure. Ha! <laughs> they will probably ignore you because you are too puny to be a threat. Adventurers mean serious business. Serious business. What do you know about fighters? An aggressive little bunch they are, and well protected behind their sturdy shields. No interests beyond sharpened heavy axes, blades, and other weaponry, and some hapless creatures. They usually attack first and ask questions later, but wouldn't dare mess with a venerable dragon such as myself. Tell me about rogues. Ah, sneaky little kids. Very fast and light-footed, and always eyeing my hard-earned treasure. Gems, coins, or gold statues. They will grab it all as soon as looking at you. Locking your jewelry away doesn't even help. They usually avoid combat and will sneak away from even a lowly grunt, seeking an easier path. Do you know what sorceresses do? Spellcasters are the true danger in this world, as Master Iroh would know. Even I respect them enough not to meddle with them. Though they are usually as frail as you are, they cloak themselves in protective magics against every threat. A capable wizard or sorceress would likely be levitating, invisible, and warded against attacks. They are highly interested in any item that seems magical. From scrolls and potions to arcane artifacts, those are the source of their power. So why don't you do something about them? I have my lair and my gold to protect, but woe be the enemy that steps in here. I even possess a gem that counters illusions, and that is too precious to fall into an adventurous hand. Can you really breathe fire? Can I? You insult me, Imp. It is unwise to insult a dragon. I don't want to give too many hints, but note what he does after you ask me if he can breathe fire. Can you really breathe fire? Can I? You insult me, Imp. It is unwise. I'm going to kill something. Yeah, I'm sure you are. Keep your thieving. There's a couple puzzles here. Mm -hmm. Meant to go somewhere. I didn't mean to stop him. Wait, hold on, hold on, go back. No, no, you knew him through the through the uh, door. You as you mouse. No, no. I mean, uh, uh, go hover the mouse over the door again because as you hovered it over the door, you did have the minion there somewhere. Come with me. Yeah. Oh, right here. Yeah. 
You can go out another door, he'll be following you out any other door. Except for that one, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'll take a note of that to make it uh, more convenient in the future. That's all good, you got him back. Magic map shows you where you are, as you see. Talk to uh Did a really good job on the tentacle. The tentacle sounds super gross. It's awesome. <laughs> yeah, it's a good thing that we still have ticks, baby. Ah, ticks. Yeah. Hard it might be tricky for some people to figure out what he's saying. Yeah. But no, that's the, the entire effect, of course. Is yeah, to be. Yeah, I, I'm not a, fan of, a fan of games that show only vocals and no subtitles. It's just too many interesting yeah. accents or sound effects in the background that they it otherwise. Yeah, I totally agree. You just, you just never know. Like, and if people are hard of hearing too, you're, you're going to need, yeah, you need subtitles. Yeah. 
Um, so is this the temple? That's the, the sanctuary is there. No, no, this, this is a, not technically a temple. This, you can go, this room is the summoning pit. Summoning pit, okay. You can head south, actually, and I think you'll find your way in the temple. Oh. <laughs> you killed your minion. Oh no. <laughs> How evil of you. Uh, hopefully there's another one. Okay, good. You stay here. Uh, Come with me. Steven asked on um, in the stream, who did the music? Um, I have his name somewhere. Right, this is actually sp supposed to be standard music. We're supposed to get uh, slightly less loud music right. for the release game. Uh, this is supposed to be uh, inspired by the Quest for Glory tune, except it's a minor key and it sounds more ominous. Okay, okay. You can vaguely make out the, the horse march. Hmm. One hint. So, remember what the tentacle said? You can put uh, items on the ground near the doors. Actually, he said they'll follow the rooms. So when they come in, go to the, the first room. Yes. And this is, this is the entryway. Now, he's going to follow the runes on the way in when he comes in. Yep. So he'll go through that door first. And what you're going to want do is put items in a room where there's like a rune on the wall but you don't want to go that way put an item on the ground somewhere that will distract him okay so for example like the sword mm -hmm. i can put it over here yeah you can put it there if, you, if you'd like to yeah and of course there's going to be three heroes and they're going to be distracted by different kinds of items yep do we want to go through and kill all three i mean i don't know it depends on what you want to do So, I mean, what hero will be coming through first? Oh, the, the warrior comes through first. Okay, so that was, like, swords and stuff like that, mm -hmm. so... Swords and things to kill, like, you know, any... He'll go after, like, some thing to try and kill it. Okay. And the question is, where do you want for the warrior to go? Yeah. I would assume you'd want him to go to the dragon? Hmm. Yeah, that's a pretty good guess. Mm. So if you leave the warrior by itself, it, it will eventually make its way to the inner sanctum and then you lose. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So, but of course, the, the warrior doesn't actually know where it is, so he will walk around a bit until he finds it. Mm -hmm. And that's your chance to possibly get him burned. Okay. Or skewered. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's plenty of little stuff here in the lair. I mean, any good evil overlord is supposed to have anything from shark pits to fire-breathing dragons to whatever else kills people. Yeah. So, I'm assuming as far as... Um... Yes. So if I put this here, 
this anywhere near the door if I travel to the left. I actually had a problem with this a bit earlier where I couldn't find a spot to put the sword down on the ground right here. Interesting. You can do it like even over to the left, just like in that area. Another thing for Radiant to fix. There we go. Uh, yeah. he'll, as long as he's in that direction, he'll go out that door, so. Okay, so. At this point, do I like make him come somehow? Or? You, you talk to the, the brain in the jar. I, I, I should probably help you out with the first one. I actually don't know how to kill the rogue or the sorcerer. Or sorceress, okay. So I'll help you with this one. Okay. Go to the inner sanctum area. Yeah, so this part of the game used to be all the timers. So you have like one minute to prepare oh, geez, and then okay. the heroes come. Yeah. Okay. And um, that turned out to be rather annoying to players, so we yeah. made it command based. This, this works a lot better, yeah. Walk near the bottom of the screen. Don't go out the door, but now uh, once your minion dude gets there, tell him to stay. You're stuck here. Oh, good. Now uh, head back to the room with the dragon. Uh, usually, the issue wait here. Yeah, have the you can send the hero in now. So I'd save first. Yeah, no, throw a save. Save my game for me. I will keep track of it. I'll donate now. <laughs> Once again, folks out there, we are doing this for the extra life charity. If you just scroll down right below our stream, the first uh, square you should have there is. The donation page. Anything you can give for Extra Life, we really appreciate it. They help support the Children's Miracle Network hospitals, taking care of sick kids who can't afford to do it themselves. So, yeah, very good cause. Let's Trying to meet our donation goal of a thousand dollars today. We're halfway there, a little over. So, yeah, anything you can do to help. Lazy him. The next hero will arrive right now. Boy, all this summoning really works up a thirst. As soon as the world is mine, I'm going to go have an ale. But wait, do I still have to pay for ale? I mean, if I own the world and everything in it, that's technically my ale already. Eh, I suppose I'd still eat a tip, though. Well, that's nice. You know, at least he's, you know, conscious of working for us. <laughs> But he's still do a tip. He'd still do a tip. Yeah. So those lines Jesse actually made up. Yeah, I I, I imprompt improvise them. Now, wait for just a moment and someone will be along shortly. Yeah, we did an heroes quest as well. At some point we asked the voice actors to add lib a couple lines for items. Oh nice. And there were some really nice responses there which we use in the game. So Excuse me just nice a sec, gotta step away. But uh, let her know as soon as the dragon as soon as he comes in, you should be able to uh, talk to the dragon and he will help you. Okay. Be right back. Yeah, if you're carrying the map at this point, you'd like to show the hero movie. Great conversation. You know. What? There we go. No! You have failed, oh. wretched little imp. Okay. Oops. <laughs> I'm sorry. So, do you actually have to talk to the dragon to like get him to breathe the fire, or? No. no. Actually, no. He does it by himself. Okay. So he was in there. So what did I do wrong? Well, the. The warrior had his big shield, okay. and now he doesn't. Oh, okay. So that makes a difference. 
difference because you, you it, it's not a, not a one step puzzle, it's a two step puzzle. Okay. Did, did you see something else that looks very lethal that the shield might protect you against? I'm sorry, what was that? Did you see something else in the lair that was very lethal that the shield might protect against? Um. Like maybe a series of flying arrows or spears? Oh, oh I yeah. see. Okay. Ooh, okay. So, okay. Warriors coming in? Alright. Sorry that, folks. I'm back. <laughs> may or may not have pizza. Watch the dragon. Come to he said he, he, he asked him if he does it by himself. Oh, he does it by himself? Yeah. He said. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I thought you had to talk to him and trigger him, but... So do I need to pick up the shield, or...? Um, no, I think you can leave the shield where it is. So do I go back over here? Uh, oh. How did he...? I think because you're right clicking speeding. Oh, oh, actually, okay, wait. I think maybe the okay, sword isn't uh, close enough. I think we have to reload. Okay. <laughs> Restore the dead. That would be so easy. Alright, so now I have to go... Actually, load donate now. We... <laughs> Restore the dead. Well, before he's actually coming. All right, now head head out the left door and move the sword a bit closer. If you can't get the sword down, I would move the minion there instead. Actually, yeah, the minion would work too. Yeah, yeah it just doesn't want to, yeah. No, I think it only fits a walkable area. I have to fix it anyway, okay? Right. But I think it looks for the spot where you can stand and place the item there. Right, okay. Huh. I was trying to use it on the tunnel, I think. That should be good. There you go. Come with me! So just, like, mm -hmm. tell him to stay right here? Again. Save my game. I will take the map along, make it easier. Don't mind us, we're gonna be grabbing a few bites to eat here on stream. <laughs> I didn't schedule any kind of like food break, so yeah, that's that's my bad. <laughs> Where did I leave the map? Uh, I think in the, the the technical room. Hmm. Or not? See the map anywhere? No, I, I guess you put it behind the uh, barrier somewhere, so it's hard to make out. Never mind. You don't actually need it, so it's okay. I mean, it's not a big deal. So, um. All right. Yeah. Oh, send... it's... Sorry. Oh, good. It's it the... I'm bad at this it's game. I'm sorry. The... Oh, it's at the end of the table. Table. You yeah, mean the alt? The alt? Oh, it's behind. Okay. Not not behind the altar, but behind the table in the uh, central room there. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, I think I might have dropped something back behind there earlier too. Not the other way.
Uh, here? Yeah, behind there somewhere. I think behind the foreground table. I don't know if she can recover at this point. Is that necessary for later? No. No? Okay. Okay. Well, not no, too worried not. about this. Is, just, uh, just nice to keep track oh, of where the... Versions. <laughs> sorry, guys. No, sorry, no I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm I'm very bad at this game, I feel. <laughs> no. Sorry. You're doing fine. Just uh, send the next uh, yeah. guy in. Or the first guy, I should say. Yeah. Uh, the, the whole point of this game is that you have to figure out what to do. Mm -hmm. So that you don't know what to do in the first half hour of playing. Yeah. I so, kind of wanted to like go in and kind of figure out what was going on. And Jesse's like, no, I want you to play it like, the first time. So. <laughs> Boy, all this summon really works up a thirst. As soon as the world is... M but wait. Dragon knocks off his shield. Now you should just be able to head south and wait. Yeah. Wait like a devious little imp will wait. Because he should be going after the sword, looping around. Oh, there he is. Let's see. Kill him. Oh, no shield. Oh, that's really too bad. Ha 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 ha. You'll never hear in the game. You didn't, they, you didn't hear that either, because I muted it. <laughs> I was saying, uh, I think Nicole muted just then, but I was saying, Good work, little imp! It's something you'll never hear in this game, but, yeah. <laughs> so my I will keep track of everything, so I can bl- Donate All now right. for reels. All yeah. right, so. So. I think you can loot him now. Okay. And after this, I'm not sure how to kill the rogue, so. About 15 minutes left. Uh, 17, technically. All right, let's see what we can do. Mm. So, rogues yeah. want shiny things. Mm -hmm. And I know the rogue, when he comes in, he will see that chest right to the left of you. No, yes. no, the chest on the ground there. He'll he'll stop and open that chest. This chest? Yeah. Now I don't know what we can do with that per se. But we have um, you know, the shield. The yep. burnt shield now. We can use the sword to push the boulder down the ramp, so um I know we could definitely We got the burnt shield. I don't know if there's anything we can. I don't know what we can do with that. I'm sure something. I also do know. Um, well, go okay, so the rogue is also a two-step puzzle. Two-step puzzle. Okay. So you just mentioned pu pushing a boulder down a ramp. That's actually a very good idea. Oh uh, yeah. But the rogue being very uh, limber and quick-footed, he will dodge. Yeah. Okay. I kind of had a feeling the so warrior would just shrug it off. Not dodge. Yeah. So I'm guessing. The first thing we do go go back to the yeah, go to the sanctum there. You're on the right hand. Now pick up that Ankh on the ground. This is what I figured out so far. Carry it with you back to where we killed the dude. Ah. Just go south, actually. More evil dudes. Yep. <laughs> and guess who we use that Ankh for necromancy on? Kind of shows the uh, the minion there for a moment when we uh, we click. I'm not sure if that's intentional or not, but it's kind of effective. Where's he going? No, I didn't do. It. I didn't mean to do that again. Still click on him. 
So now, rogues will void zombies. We know that from what the dragon said. Right. So we can put him where we don't want we the rogue do, exactly. to go. Exactly. We don't want the rogue to go. So we can block off a ruined area if we want. Um, exactly. So the thing is, I don't know... I'll just put him right in front of... <laughs> yeah, put him right in front of the door. <laughs> Problem solved! <laughs> That does work if you just don't do the game for the myth. It's just what? Sorry? That does work if you just don't do the game for the Nicole's grabbing a meal, so uh, we're swapping for a moment here. Alright, so... All right, let's see. happens if I just leave uh, the zombie in front of his door here like I think I did that and well your I job is to it. kill the heroes right the rogue would just keep looping I guess probably but he wouldn't yeah. you know he might not go into where I need him to go okay so let's see um, magic potion the rogue probably wouldn't be too interested in For my friend George the Dragon here. That should be his name. George the Dragon, yeah. Grimscale. George Grimscale. <laughs> <laughs> Keep your... Yeah, we'll make that canon. <laughs> Absolutely. George Grimscale the Dragon. But then he might have to kill the other dragons, you know? He might what? If he's called George, he might have to kill other dragons. Oh, that's dragons. true, yeah. Might have to throw down to some other dragons and <laughs> a dragon death match. Tell me. I might be an idea for future games. Gems, coins, or gold statues. They usually avoid combat. Okay. Hmm. No. Let's see. Hmm. First, the rogue is going to come in through. These these runes don't change, do they? They always stay the same, right? Yeah, they do. They're always okay. the same. Will only the sorceress go after the potion, or would that perhaps be any hero? I need a sorceress. Only the sorceress? Okay. Kind of what I figured. Hmm. What can I do to this chest that might make it... We have a little uh, input here. Uh... Maybe the bad potion can be poured on his head, the cauldron maybe. 
Not mm. quite interact, interact, sorry. No, I don't think this one is interactable, unfortunately. We've got, um... So we've got ladders here, but that can't really... Yeah, that's from the old background. That's from what? An old version of the background. Yeah, okay, I was gonna say, I don't see... <laughs> I didn't see a ladder, <laughs> There's though. There's no ladder. Making lots of notes here. <laughs> Yeah, good time for, you know, playtester going through it. What do you think? Oh, you can never have enough playtesting. Oh, yeah, no, no, without a doubt. You can always, always use more input. I've, I've learned that myself, so. Actually, I think about it. Maybe what the chest is really there for... Make it so when the rogue comes into this room, he'll try to pick the lock on the chest instead of, uh... Yeah, alright, so where's he coming in from? Alright, he's gonna go in here first. I don't want him to do that, so... The question is, uh, we can't stem the flow of the green liquid with the shield? I could try. I'm gonna place my zombie buddy here. I don't know if the green liquid's interactable, unfortunately. No. No, it's not. Okay. It's not. It looks like it'd be yeah, it'd be a neat idea though. That, you know, that's that's a, that's a thought. That would be neat. All right. Um. So we've got. But given that the road can't go that way, I guess. You know what? I'm just gonna find out. Do it now. You do it now. the look on mother's face when she sees what I've done. No more. You should get a real job, Rogi. Or the girls might like you if you lost some weight, Rogi. <laughs> well, I own the world now, you dried up old bag of twigs. So you can just tell those hags in your knitting circle that fat little Rogi did way better for himself than any of their worthless children. <laughs> Alright, so where's our rogue going? Okay, he's going south. Right. I don't think I'll be able to make it to... Did you notice him. something missing? Oh yeah! Hey, Stolmont statue! Interesting. Yeah. And I'm out of spears, too. That way. Now what would the statue do? You have yeah, I... Wretched little imp! Oh, he was carrying the statue, wasn't he? Okay. <laughs> Alright, so who grabbed the statue? Alright, so he's going south. He's grabbing the statue. What else is he doing? Come on. Follow the green from there, didn't you? Uh... Actually, did I... Will he... he... He'll go through this room for this room next, right? Or... Or will he go this way? I think he must have gone this way because I didn't see him there, so. Hmm. This part is slightly easier if you still have the map. Ah. It's, yeah. Beta version. I see. See if I can find that map anywhere. Okay, so the uh, road went south to the temple, then he went east to the sacrificial pits, and then he entered Arlok's chamber. Right, that's what I thought, okay. Yeah. So, you need something to move him in a different direction. And you got the minion for that, but you either need to be really, really quick with moving the minion, or you need something else. Okay, actually, I could quickly... Yeah. I don't know... Oh, hello. Have I... Oh, no, I just put it down. Okay. I thought I figured something out there. I was all proud of myself. I was like, okay, I can scrape some lichen off the rock with a shield. <laughs> <laughs> but no. Thinking outside the box. Hmm.
What happened to... It's not... I say, you always talk about how stalagmites could fall on... Or stalactites, pardon me, could fall on people, but... I like you have the nice touch of making sure that, um... When you try to give the shield back to the, uh, the dead warrior, it's like, no. He's too dumb to use it anyway. <laughs> well, it didn't help him the first time. <laughs> so if he steals the statue, is he weighed down too much to be able to dodge the boulder? Oh. Yep. Oh, very smart. Ideas. Okay. All right. So. so it he... is a big, heavy statue, after all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he would go th if he came north. However, actually. Oh wait. Yeah. Okay. I think I know what I can be doing. Did someone suggest that in chat? No, that was me. Oh, it was you. Cool. Awesome. See, you should have been playing this whole time. I'm just well, mucking it up. No, I, I actually need time to sit in, in the back and think that's about it. Yeah, that's a good point, yeah. Food restores brain power. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, I'm eating and then I'm thinking. Yeah. <laughs> so let's do this. Give me my sword. Pretty much. Pizza and chicken tenders. Brain food. Who is he? All right. So, minions in place. I had already used the sword before, like, you know, off stream, actually, not, not while people have been watching. I've used this sword to move a boulder. And actually, if I, if I remember correctly, let me save the game before I do this. Yeah, yeah I, I generally try in adventure gaming to make items reusable for yep. some reason. Makes the world feel more filled in. Mm -hmm. And just like in Castlevania, the boulder's back. So, yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, what was that? The tentacle moves it back. Yeah. Absolutely. In fact, you can ask him about that. He said... Oh, he, oh, he says he moves it back. Oh, okay. I don't want to talk to... I did... Okay. And that's also part of our... I'm not frustrating the player's claws because... Preventing dead ends is standard these Yes, days. you know, you don't want dead ends, no. No one... Yeah. I mean, I, I grew up in the Sierra era, so... Yeah, I, did, I just remember so many, yeah, Sierra dead ends and that, that type of fun thing. Alright, let's, let's get the next hero in here. Working his way through the dungeon right now. Yeah, <clears throat> but you're banking on the potion attracting a rogue. Oh wait, hold on, wait a minute. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. She did say only sorceress. I don't know why, for some reason, my brain got it into itself that like, oh yeah, it'll attract a rogue as well. All right. Um. What I'm meant to be Did doing. you see some other item that looks very shiny that you haven't been able to pick up yet? Let me think. Put this here because I need to. You know, I'm gonna use that mm -hmm. later. There was the uh, gem in the dragon's lair. Yeah, there was the scroll. I mean, the, you find the scroll in his thing, but I'm sure that's for the sorceress because a rogue's not gonna care about a scroll. But um, let's see. doesn't really care about a shield either. Doesn't what, sorry? He wouldn't care about the burnt shield either. No, he definitely wouldn't. No, unless it's like made of diamonds and gold and stuff. <laughs> yeah. Definitely not gonna let me take this though. Uh, use this in the gem? No, he just uh, gets mad at me if I do. Because he's seen you fly through the room, he knows you're around. Oh, well, perhaps you can be sneakier than that. Yeah. Aha! I'm 
Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. Interesting. Right. Try that. See, actually, when you walk through the room, at some point the dragon is going to say, Hey, I see you now. Oh, yeah, he does. That. That's true, he does. I hadn't actually picked up on the fact that was a clue. I thought he was just being, you know, like being like, hey, how are you doing? Son, I... Yeah. All right, let's get the donate now in. Okay, and now... Let's play. Oh, I can't know what so... And now we wait. Hello, Mr. Rogue. <laughs> I'm the baddest imp ever! <laughs> <laughs> well done, Mr. Imp. <laughs> Indeed. See if uh, Mr. Tentacle here has any... Uh... <laughs> yep, <laughs> I had a feeling I had to talk to him about it. Well, that's why you were feeding him earlier. That section looks rather nice in the interview. Sorry, what? Intense for you. That statue looks rather nice in the center of the room. <laughs> yeah. Here you go, Mr. Tentacle Man. It's your, uh... Your, um... Some ambiance for you, I guess. Enjoy. Let's see. Let's do a quick save. <laughs> now, do you want us to, uh... How, many, how much more time do we have? What time is it? It's three. It is three o'clock, so maybe we should, uh... Call it at this point because I have. Let's see, what do we have next? I guess we have chapters of Hue up next. So, I guess we're not going to get to kill the sorceress, but we should leave something, you know, for other pe players to figure out because otherwise, you know, I don't want to, you know, give it all away. But yeah, you so we figured out how to kill the rogue. Proven your worth as an evil imp. Well, I've, no, I've definitely mm -hmm. tried. Yeah. That was very fun. Yeah. So yeah, thank you. <laughs> Thank Again, you. ladies and gentlemen, this was uh, Quest for Eye Rogue by Quist Crystal Shard. For some reason, I almost said Crystal Shard because I'm losing my mind, or I don't know. I'm just thinking Crystal Shard. Crystal Shard. I, I'm, yeah, out of it. Um, <laughs> some more brain food, perhaps? Yeah, yes. I know, right? Let me... <laughs> so, yeah. Um, thank you for joining us. Listen, for Peter, a great cause, so much appreciated. Yes. Thanks for having us. Well, thanks for reviewing yeah. our game. It's very cool. Right. I want the map. <coughs> now back to the title screen. So yeah. All right, folks. Like I said, um, give us a few minutes, and we're we'll back with chapters of Hugh Autumn. And once again, thanks for thanks for joining us, you two, and we'll talk to you later. Thank you. Goodbye. Have a good one. Take care. <laughs>